It's a picture of someone named Mantis. This VCT software will give me a location where the getaway vehicle was registered, if I can find five key descriptions about it. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? You're talking about the speeder I saw take off after the shooting? What I can tell you for certain is the last two digits on the license plate. They were the numbers six and three. I need to find a few more identifying features about the suspicious speeder. You know, Murph, I think we make a great team. What can I do for you? Well, that's the most recent photo of Margaret Leonard I could find. Like I said, she's been out of circulation for a while. <laughs> He'd go on into these weird trances and talk about past life stuff. You know, pretty intriguing until you get to where he starts going on about Atlantis. She's dead? And she was living right here for years! How do you always find yourself right in the middle of everything? <laughs> you have a gift, my friend. Uh, no. crazy what happened to Margaret Leonard. Is everything okay with you and the cops? Yeah, the cops would love to pin it on me, but I think it's all tied to a Mason Bowers who was abducted outside the Ritz a couple of nights ago. I'm just trying to find anybody who might have seen something. Oh, well then you probably need to talk to Sapphire. Sapphire? Sounds like some Greek oracle. Well, I don't know if she's Greek or not, but she's definitely exotic looking. And she's one of your fellow tenants. Her door's decorated like a French nightmare, but it suits her business. So. If you hear any noises you can't identify, you might want to come back later. It's a damn shame what happened to that little lady. And I'm not crazy about what it did to her apartment either. Not a clue. Hello, Maria. How goes the investigation? I'm quite certain she was on the run from someone or something. I took care of her as much as she'd let me. I'm very sad she's gone. Yes, I'm sure that Margaret's items came from the Tesla cash, though the pieces she gave me to sell weren't nearly as valuable as rumors would have you believe. The, uh, a speeder that flew away after the gunshots I heard? Well, I'm not sure what type it was, uh, but I did notice that the interior was very unusual. It was, uh, all white. More questions? Why you gotta keep coming back with more questions? Yeah, there was a speeder that took off right after the gunshots. Saw it in my rearview mirror. I got a thing for high-end speeders. This was a 48 Pandium. Sweet ride. I need to find a few more identified. Of all the face-melting food joints in all the towns, in all the world, you walk into mine. Would if I could. Whatever you need, Mife. Just ask. So this is the speeder you think took off after those gunshots and the abduction the other day. I do remember seeing a vehicle. I didn't get the license plate or nothing. 
I just saw was one of them nice pandians. The Biturbo XL model. This is a nice surprise. Sapphire. What a beautiful, if somewhat misleading name. Thanks, Tex. You know just what to say to please a lady. Are you a gymnast? So. What brings new San Francisco's sexiest PI to my door? Business or pleasure? Uh, no idea, but uh, if I see him, I'll ask him. <laughs> What's with the humble act? Are you feeling a little down? Maybe a happy ending would cheer you up. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's all anybody wants, right? I mean, and they lived happily ever after, that kind of thing. Fine. If you don't want to scratch each other's backs, but what if I don't play ball? Can we still rough and tumble? Well, Sapphire, don't make me twist your arm. Oh. <laughs> you can't make me talk. <laughs> we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Excuse me? Are you threatening me? Because if you are, I'd love to see you try the hard way. I'm sorry, Tex. I got carried away. I didn't mean to hurt you. At least not like that. Do you forgive me? Yeah, sure. Could you answer a few questions? I'm all yours, Mr. Murphy. <clears throat> You're a tough guy who thinks he's above the law. What girl doesn't like to get a little turned on by that kind of man? First, I hear people running around up in your apartment. Then, this speeder lands outside. I hear some man yelling and screaming outside the Ritz. Then, he runs off with some other people chasing him. After a bit, he comes back, and I hear him outside my window. Sounds like he's talking to himself. Then, two other guys catch him, shove him into the speeder. Then, I hear gunshots, and the speeder takes off. It's not the nicest place in town, but you can't beat the price. It's a live and let live kind of place. That's not my kind of store. What's she got that I don't? I can tell you one thing that I've got that she doesn't. Gets along with everybody. Makes great food. I only met you a couple years ago. So, I don't know what you were like before, but I like what I see now. It ain't just your ass that's bad. So spunky, and I love spunk. That's the guy you think got abducted? I saw him around a few times coming to see you, I thought. He's been videotaping the Ritz That scumbag detective has been watching me for months. After Clint took over ownership of the Ritz from Nilo, things got a lot better. He even removed all the bugs and hidden cameras. Runs the electronic shop, though he's hardly ever there. But that place will literally kill you. Rook's one of my best customers. His tastes aren't as old-fashioned as you might think. No idea who that is. Now, what would I know about that? That sweet lady used to live here. It looked black, 
or midnight blue at first. But when the light hit it just right, hmm, I could see that it was actually close to sapphire, which, of course, I would remember. Well, I finally gather enough data to identify the kidnap vehicle. It's registered to a company called Saysan. The location appears on my map. 